I'm just going to put in my cools, those colors that are further away from the light source, like that. And I'm very deliberately using the Atelier Interactive for this, because what I want to do is I want to come back in a little while, and I want to blend all of these colors together. And I want to be able to use that open drying time that you get with the Interactive so that I can mix these colors. And what I'm doing here is I'm gradually moving closer to the light source. And as I get closer to the light source, I eliminate the blues and come more into the reds and yellows. So some of you might be interested too in how I'm using my palette here. I'm actually mixing my colours up and I'm using those colours and I'm keeping a record of them on my palette. It's a nice handy tip. And hopefully you can see fairly quickly when the transition of colours is right. That red wasn't that great. Now what I can do is I can come back, this is why I was talking about the interactive before, I can come back with my brush, and for those of you who don't know, it's, a, it's an acrylic paint that stays open. So I can come back with my brush in a little while, when I've got most of this done, and with a damp brush, work over the surface and pull the colours together. Because of the paint I've used, I can dampen it and reactivate it. So I've roughed this in. I'm just going to come back now and put some highlights, a few more details and bits and pieces on here and make a few more adjustments. But that's sort of the second part of the process down anyway. And I've got a little bit closer to what I want. A couple of clouds may come and go. Their shapes may change a little bit, but that's, you know, on its way anyway. So for more information about that, you can go to our sunset painting page at exploreacrylicpainting.com.